Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Beach Please collection. And I, I love how she said that in the Vogue video that Rihanna made and that just made me want to buy all this stuff. So yeah, if you would like to see me basically trying out these products and saying what I think about them, kind of first impression type deal, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, right before I get into the little mini tutorial, I'm going to insert some clips of the products themselves so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm about to put on my face. So, if you haven't heard, Fenty Beauty just came out with their new beach collection. It's like their summer collection. And it's called The Beach Please. And she, re she released a ton of products Rihanna did. And some of those included two things that I'm going to be trying out today, which is the Fenty Kilowatt Foil and the Fenty... What is this? Island bling. This is basically, 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 basically an eyeshadow duo. And yeah, I'm just gonna try it all out. And this collection is so pretty. Like all the colors are super bright, and it's just it's really nice to look at. It's it's different from what she usually has because I feel like her other stuff is more neutral tone, not tons of color. But this is like out there, colorful lip glosses, colorful eyeshadow, colorful highlighter. Like it's kind of life. So yeah. Let's just try some stuff out. Ugh, I cannot open this. Fun fact, my thumbs aren't opposable. I guess most of you know this. But do you see this, guys? They're not opposable. They don't bend. So I have a very hard time opening up package. Packages. I cannot open this. I feel like it's different from her other highlighter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my face. And then we're gonna, uh, it's gonna be risky, but I'm gonna try blue highlighter. How I plan to go about this is by applying this Mega Glow highlighter first and then applying that on top of it because personally, I'm not gonna be able to give you an honest review if I don't like how it looks, if that makes sense. So just having a little base down of a normal colored highlighter will really help me see how I like this. Okay, so this is my skin with just a little bit of, with just a little bit of gold highlighter on, and now we're gonna go into this blue. I'm kind of scared, very scared. I've never worn colored highlighter. Let's see. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh my god, I did not even wet this. Why am I... Uh, do you... Oh my god. That looks so good with the gold underneath it. I would have used this underneath there, but I know that's going to be way too dark. I'm literally tapping like twice. Oh, so pretty. Oh my god. This is so cool because when I look straight on, it just looks like normal and then it goes blue. So yeah, this is um, the highlighter. I think it looks so gorgeous. I would say it's maybe slightly smoother and finished than her Kilowatt highlighters. But yeah, I mean, that's about it for this product. I'm gonna use this on my eyes as well, so continue watching if you want to see that. So the next thing is this duo eyeshadow thing. I'm really excited about this. I like swatch, so I was in Sephora today. I was like, gotta go, gotta go get him. And I like saw this and I didn't think I was gonna buy it. And I swatched it and I, w I was shook. I was really shook. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go in. My eyelids have just a little bit of shadow insurance on them because I my eyelids grease up and it's not cute. Having this ready to blend out the edge with, I'm gonna take the side called Mamacita, ooh, 
I'm gonna zoom you in. Hello, we are close. Has a doe foot applicator. And let's just apply this to the eye. Oh my God, yes. That is gorgeous. It went on very, like, actually extremely even for just one layer, which isn't always seen. Why did it just get so dark? Oh crap, I'm gonna have to go get a light. Let's just add a little bit more here. So there's the eye. I think that looks so pretty, wow. I'm gonna go get um, a light. We'll be back. Oh, I have a light. Uh, sorry for the fact that it probably got dark for a lot of the video. <laughs> my bad. Like, look at my highlight. Can't stop staring at the viewfinder. Okay, so this eye has, um, this has been on it for about, say a minute, and it's almost completely dry. And I would say it does lose some of its metallic finish. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not quite as metallic as I thought it would be. It's more of a stubble glitter, or not glitter, shimmer. But it's still gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is try to use this as an eyeshadow. And I'm using a synthetic brush because I feel like this is gonna work the best. And I'm just applying this to my crease. This is something probably a lot of people hate, but personally, I like the weird editorial makeup. So this is definitely not for your average Betty. Wow, look at that. That is so pretty. It just kind of, it goes right into the highlight. Oh. Bruh, I may be pulling up to my band final tomorrow looking like a snack. This isn't even wet and it's going on so metallic. Wow, this is completely gorgeous. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm now going to take this blue one on a pencil brush like this and I'm going to wet it and I'm not necessarily wetting it for more intensity but I'm wetting it so it'll stick better. <laughs> I'm going to apply it right here on the eye. Oh, look at that, whoa. This is insane. So let's zoom back out. I think I'm gonna apply some of the, the shade more intensely here. I'm gonna use this uh, side called Teeny keeny, and we're gonna put this on my eye. Yep, yep. I knew it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This shade surprisingly blends out pretty easily on the eye. I'm gonna go back, um, Put on some mascara and I'll continue the video, I guess. Okay, so um, not gonna lie, I look insane right now, but that's completely fine because overall, I think this collection is beautiful. The um, dual-ended little thing, I forget what it's called, honestly, is definitely worth the $26. The formula is thicker than the Stila Shimmer and Glows if you're used to those, and the glitter on this is not the same at all.
I would say this, if you had to get one thing from the collection, would definitely be this highlighter, which I cannot get open and I'm not going to try to open it. But yeah, this is definitely worth your money. I think the quality is very on par with all other Fenty products. And I, of course I can't speak for the other things in this collection, but these two products I really do enjoy. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below literally anything, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!